Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I will show you how to change some configurations for your pie chart like you want a 3D pie chart and like you want a donut shape pie chart and other options as well. So in my previous video I have shown you how to create a dynamic pie chart and I have used this table product master fetch data from here and created this dynamic pie chart. So after this let me show you code. So firstly DB connection is made then there is the one select query to get my products. After that in HTML I have DYD pie chart and after this there is script. In script I have just uh, fetch all products and printed them. So if you want to create a dynamic pie chart then please go and watch my previous video. I'll be providing link in the description as well. So in this video, I will just focus on the options of pie chart. So let's get started. First one, I'm going to have one 3D pie chart, how to add. So there is just one line you need to add is, is 3D is true. So you can see where option in script. So add it here. And now let's go and refresh our browser. So refresh, so you can see, now it's giving a 3D look. So that's what we wanted. So now next what I'm going to show you is our donut chart. So let's go into the documentation and see. So you just have to add for donut chart is pi hole and you have to just pass a value that is between zero to one and hide is 3D. Now let's go and refresh. Now you can see we have one donut chart here. So one thing I need to mention is that you cannot use is 3D and pie hole together. If both are included then pie hole will be in like ignored and is 3D will be given priority. So there are some other option you can see that pie slice text style you can give. So next I'm going to show you is rotating a pie chart. So let's go and uh, apply this. So for this we will be using pi start angle and its value is 100. So that means that we will be rotating it clockwise. So right now it's anti-clockwise. So now let's go and refresh our browser. So you can see 33.7 firstly is on the right hand side. Now it's on left. So let me just hide pi start angle and show you before how it was. So next I'm going to show you is slice in pie chart. So for that you can you see there is slices that's an object type so paste it in var option you can see there is offset so you can pass it between 0 to 1 so after that i need one more thing that is pi slice text so copy this and paste above slices here so now let's go and refresh our browser so you can see fourth slice is you know you can see it's separated from the pie chart so you can see 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 12, 14 and 15 is uh, as there is no slice for them to work. So we can remove 14 and 15. Now I'm going to change the slice to let's say 0 and 3. So now let's go and check in browser which slices are separated. So first one you can see 0 that is car then 1, 2, 3 that is truck. So these two get separated from pie chart. So let me just try this with another slices as well. So right now I have 0 and 3. So let me just do it 1 and so let me just do it 1 and you can say 3 only. So now let's go and refresh. So you can see 0, 1 now bike is separated and truck is separated. So I will be continuing this slicing in my next video. So in this video I have shown you some of the options. So if you have any query related to these options that I have shown you in this video please comment down below and in my next video I will be continuing with slicing and ligands like you can show them on top you can change their text type, text color. So. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching.